Oh, I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this one. Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to talk about um, three e-bikes in question. Well, two of them are in question. Um, not necessarily a scam, but if you hear me out, it might as well be a scam. Um, Hemingway, Magicycle, I'm talking about you ripping people off. Um, so yeah, there's, there's better options out there. Uh, I wasn't even aware of the other options until I went further down the rabbit hole. So I'm going to inform you today about your options. Those people who are looking into the Hemingway and looking into the Magic Cycle. And I'm going to blow your mind at how much you're overpaying. There are three e-bikes in question that are all about the same e-bike. And... I'm, I'm coming at you, Hemingway and Magicycle, ripping people off. If you're thinking about getting Hemingway or getting a Magicycle, uh, you need to step back, look at your options. Like, I wasn't even aware of the third option. <laughs> uh, luckily, I, you know, went down the rabbit hole far enough to discover the third option. And that's what I wanted to go over today and to show you guys the price. You can get, like, less e-bike for more money if you buy one of the two other e-bikes so it those people out there are going for hemingway or magic cycle right now you know i'm putting that in the tags and in the bottom so you watch this video so you know you're getting ripped off here we go so you got the all-terrain step through electric bike for 15.99 cruiser style right step through Bam, go through the stats, two year warranty, they all do. 750 watt motor, 48 volt, 17.5 hour amp, uh, <laughs> five amp hour, whatever. Anyways, uh, so if you scroll down, it's not even gonna tell you anything about the brakes either. So they don't even have enough information on there. Look at this, LCD screen, it's like old um, uh, composite crystal whatever screen, it's bad. Uh, their thing right here that doesn't have the dual cover on there. You know, this is like an old ass bike they're selling, you know, for 1600 bucks. And yeah, there's some more stats right there. So, 22 amp hour controller. So, you get worse brakes, you get the worst controller, you get the smaller battery, you don't get a nice of a bike for the same exact price. Actually, it's $100 less. But it's a hundred dollars less, bro. It's a hundred dollars less. But let me let me show you something that they're also doing. Boom! This is their new one, the Hemingway Zebra, twenty-six inch, two thousand bucks, right? Right? Oh my gosh! Oh, and you get it assembled for an extra hundred dollars. Wow! They're ripping you off there too. Holy crap, but check this out. 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Still got a smaller battery. 750 watt motor. Still got a smaller motor. It can hold 50 more pounds though. That's legit. What else do you got here? 60 to 80 miles. Blah, 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 blah. Is it, is it going to have good brakes? Everybody's talking about their disc drives. And their crappy seats that you know you're going to have to change. I don't think it even has turn signals. Does the brake light function? I don't know, specifications right here. Boom, 5-2, that's what they say. This is the step through, right? No, this was a, this was not the step through, this was the second. This was the $2,000 one. They don't make a step through. <clears throat> uh, there's the geometry. There we go, how tall is that? I don't even know, dude. Maximum seat height, 35. Minimum seat height, 27.6. So yeah, you could be a shorty sitting on this bike. All right, so there you go. Smaller motor, smaller battery, worse controller. This one doesn't even show the display, did it? Didn't even show the display, did it? On this model. For two grand, two grand is what they're trying to get for this. Yeah, LCD display with USB. So yeah, it's LCD. 
All right, so let's check on the next option. Here we go. Hemingway wasn't as bad as Magicycle. Are you ready for this? Are you freaking ready? The new Magicycle 52 volt 20 amp hour cruiser. What? It's got the same size battery. 750 watt 52 volt. 96 newton meter of torque. I really doubt that. That has got to be a lie. Honestly, I think they're lying. Does have hydraulic disc brakes. It does have a uh, hydraulic suspension front fork. That's legit. Payload capacity, 350. Coupon, right there, $100 off. So, <laughs> list price, price. <laughs> and do you get the coupon? So is it still $1,900? Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what else they got. Let's see. So you, got the 52 volt 20 amp hour battery a 750 watt 96 newton meter torque oh my gosh all terrain blah blah, blah blah long range combo blah 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 see see no tipping on sand snow blah 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 up to 25 kilometers optimized your right yeah, 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 yeah 96 the equivalent torque of 900 cc fuel motor I really doubt that's 96 newton meters of torque. Really do. Uh, come on, let's get to everything. It's got the same brakes, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, full color display, which is nice. I believe this one has a clock, so it's got a nice display on it. Come on, where's the stats? The stats for dummies. Does it have turn signals? Specifications, here we go. <clears throat> Smart controller current range, seven to 22. So it's not a 35 amp hour controller. It's only a 22 amp hour. So somebody's screwing everyone around. 750 watt motor, 52 volts, 22 amp hours. I mean, yeah and it's supposed to be 96 newton meters of torque almost 100 newton meters of torque man uh da, 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 da. front light see did it say tail light no there's the geometry maximum seat to ground height 43 34 that's right let's do the math we got 700 ah sorry so uh, what was it? it was 52 volts oh my god this is kind of hard sorry Just screwing everything up so 52 times 22 there we go 1114 watts all right and then we got 52 times 32 1600 and 64 and you can pump it up to 35 bam 1820 like they said so the magic cycle is full of crap especially if their controller is only 22 maybe it'll punch up to 30 either way it's still it's way less and then yeah so if this one has what did they say 96 newton meters of torque then the <laughs> Then the aerial rider is gonna have like what 110 120 125 i don't know all right 1800 bucks so 100 dollars more than the hemingway right but the hemingway had like 400 dollars worth less of parts on it and then it's what it's only 100 bucks cheaper than the magic cycle Prices are getting close, <clears throat> but 1800 watts all together. Let's see, so we know all this. It's got the 20 amp hour battery, just like the Magic Cycle. Good color screen, just like the Magic Cycle. Three hundred pound capacity, though. Weird. 
It's got less capacity than all three. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Electronics. There's a battery. LG battery. 1000 watt motor. 18 whatever watts. 1800 watts. 32. Mine goes 35. Um, charger. 2.5. Mm, controller 1650 watts 33 amps and you can crank it up to 35 which will make the watts go up all right bike components shifter chain kickstand tires fork 80 millimeters travel fender geometry what is the geometry? Seat tube, maximum saddle, 43, 42. Oh, here we go. Minimum saddle height, 34. Yeah, low step, 32. There you go. It's a two inch difference. You guys could fit on that for sure. Reach 18. That was it? Where's the newton meters of torque? That's what I want to know. Alright guys, I looked all over and um, I, I can't, for the life of me, find anywhere where it shows the torque on this bad boy. But if you think about it, it's got a 32, right? What did it say the motor was? The controller? Was it 32 versus 22 on the, uh, the Magicycle? Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted electronics, right? Bike components, electronics. So, 1800 watt peak power. Where was the controller? 33 amp. Okay, let's go back to the magic cycle. So, yeah, 52 volts, 750 watt. 22 amp hour so we can do the math on that I know can you believe it can you believe they're spending that much and they're getting like half the bike right it's crazy <clears throat> today on um, vape reviews we're doing the um, Cali burn um, I don't know the little guy it's good Tastes good. I got uh, vanilla something. I don't know. She makes clouds, baby. <laughs> Shout out to the vapor viewers. All right. Well, long story short, um, take that for however you want to take it. Prices have come down a little bit, I've noticed. Even um, the aerial rider has dropped the prices a little bit here and there. And I'm pretty sure everyone has a $100 off coupon. So you gotta take that into consideration also. And they all have the same exact frame. So I don't know how they can vary from 300 pound weight capacity all the way to 400 pound weight capacity. So maybe the Hemingway has done more research on the capacity of the payload than anyone else. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The aerial rider will definitely do 36 miles an hour. Mm, I just, I really want to do this in light people before you go and jump the gun and you get something that you don't like. And then, I mean, the Max Cycle has those stickers you hate all over it. It's just ugly really ugly and then who came up with the name magic cycle I mean that's just kind of silly I don't know if some people like that you know I'm not hating on it I'm just in dislike of it mm. all right peace drink Red Bull get your wings oh I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this one